Okay. In this question, you've been asked to find out the inverse of the following matrix by using elementary operations. Right? So you have A is equal to 7, 14, 14, minus 7. Right? Now, to do that, you have to apply operations to the various rows and columns and achieve the inverse of this particular matrix. Right? So can we write this as A is equal to IA, wherein I basically refers to the square matrix of the same order, right? Which is an identity matrix. Okay? So if you put in the values over here, you get 7, 14, 14 and minus 7 is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. A. So let's try to do this by row operations. Okay. So first we'll apply an operation to row 2. Okay. Now if you see row 2 is equal to 14 over here. This is 7. And what we want is 14 has to actually become 0. In the first line, we have 7. In the second line, we have 14. And what we want is 0. So how can we achieve 0 when you, by using 7 and 14? Now if you notice, 7 into 2 is equal to 14. Right? And 14 minus 14 is equal to 0. So if we multiply 7, which is nothing but R1, and subtract it from R2, we will get a 0 in this place. So we write R2 is R2 minus 2 times R1. Right? And this thing is what you are going to learn as you practice more and more. So you have to basically see, the idea is to reduce this matrix into an identity matrix. Right? Because we know that A into A inverse is equal to I. Right? We need to find out this. So to start with, we've put in I here. Okay? Once you convert the right hand side into I, whatever values you get on the this other side is going to be the inverse. So we started by using the second row. Okay? So 14. So what will we get if we start replacing this? So we'll see this 14 instead of 14 we'll get 14 minus which is R2 minus 2 times R1 which is 7 corresponding element 0. But it is not that we have to apply this only here. It has to be applied to each and every element of R2. So here we will get minus 7 minus 2 into 14. Right? By doing this, what do we get? We get the first row, which is 7 and 14. And here we get 0. And this will be minus 28 minus 7 minus 35 is equal to. Now, whatever operations you apply on the left-hand side has to be equally applied on the right-hand side also. So for this also, A remains as it is. Okay. Now, 0 will become 0 minus R2 minus 2 times R1, which is 1. 0 minus 2, this will become minus 2. And 1 will become 1 minus 2 times 0, 1. And 1, 0 remains as it is. Right? Now, basically, again, what is our objective? Our objective is to achieve this on the left-hand side. Right? Now, basically, if we put R2, what do we want here? We want 1 to come here. Right? And how do you get 1 over here? If you divide minus 35 by 
minus 35, you will get 1. So we put in R2 is equal to minus 1 upon 35 R2. Right? So what will this give us? Row 1 will remain as it is. 0 divided by 35. Doesn't matter. It will again remain 0. Minus 35 divided by minus 1 upon 35, which is this, gives me 1. Is equal to 1, 0. Now again, minus 2 divided by 35, because we have to apply similar operations to others also. And this will give me minus 1. Minus 2 divided by 35 into, this will give you plus. And this will give you minus 1 by 35. Right? So, that's basically the operation 2 on row 2. Again, I've achieved two steps here. The third step is to get a 1 over here and a 0 over here. Right? So, if you see this R1, which is 7. And what do I want? I want a 0 here. So I need to subtract 7 from here. Is it possible to get a 7 from row 2? Okay. So what do I do here is that I will put in R1. Let's say R1 is equal to R1 divided by 7 to simplify it. So if you divide both of them by 7, you get 1, 2, 0, 1 over here. I've divided both these numbers by 7. And here I get 1 by 7, 0, 2 by 35 and minus 1 by 35. Right? So what do I need to do here? I need to convert this into 0 by using this. So what can I do? I have 2. I have to convert 2 into 0. I have 1 here. So if I multiply this by 2, so I say 2 into 1 and I subtract this from the earlier number, then I can get a 0. So therefore, I apply the operation R1 is equal to R1 minus 2 times R2. If I do that, what do I get? I get this as 1 minus 2 times R2, which is 0. So 0, 0, 1, okay. 2 into 2 minus 2 times R2, which is 2. So basically, I have achieved my result on the left hand side. I have got 1, 0, 0, 1. And on the right hand side, what do I get? I need to change the R1 here. 1 by 7 minus 2 times R2, which is 2 by 35. So 35, 5 minus 4, or 1 by 35. So I get 1 by 35 over here. I get 2 by 35 over here, I get minus 1 by 35 over here. Let's see this. This will be equal to R1 which is 0 minus 2 times R2. 2 into minus 1 by 35 or 2 by 35. Or simply you can write 1 by 35 which is the common across all of them 1, 2, 2 minus 1. So A inverse is equal to 1 by 35 upon this matrix. It's a little complicated and you know maybe confusing at times but as you get into your practices this will become easier and easier.